Well, some people certainly believe that there's a, a hierarchy in the animal kingdom with humans at the top and then primates, monkeys and so on, and then maybe dogs, cats, other uh, mammals before we get down to, to fish. But what's important really is to look at the type of research that's being carried out and the kind of effect that it's likely to have on the animals. Uh, so, for example, uh, there may be research involving monkeys where we're simply observing their behaviour. Measure that against some research using mice where they may be undergoing surgery or something. And so you can't simply say that it is less acceptable to do any research with one animal rather than another. But you must also look at the res each particular type of research and what's going to happen in that case in terms of uh, the animal's own characteristics, their level of intelligence, uh, the kind of whether and how they feel pain, uh, what kind of environment they like to live in. So all of these circumstances would need to be considered, as well as the possible benefits from the research and what kind of outcome we'd uh, expect to see. So, for example, if the research is going to lead to uh, new vaccines that could save the lives of many thousands of people, that would be a different position to research that simply is testing a new household product, for example.